Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this video, I will show you how to use Winplot, which is a free software. And you notice what I uh, put on Google. You can just simply put Winplot, and you're gonna get places where you can download it. I downloaded a while ago, and I think I used this uh, website. And you click on it, and then you follow the direction. You download. And then you have it on your computer like I have it here. Once you have it, you click on it. That's the first thing you get. Did you know that? They give you some tips. You can click on next and read every single tips. Then you can click on previous and see some other, uh, go back to your previous tip. But I'll show you some um, tips in this video clip. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this window button. And you notice I have some choices. I'm going to go with two dimensions. If I click on it, I get a rectangular grid, X and Y axis, which usually I like to change it. So I'm going to click on view, which is the third choice. You notice axis, and I'm going to change the screen thickness. And I will make it a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, the next thing I want to show you how to put a grid in case you like it. Again, on the view, you notice I choose this choice, grid. Click on it. You get this uh, menu where you can choose how your axis looks like. They already checked these uh, things, axis, sticks, both. Also, you notice the interval is, um, they're going to show you it's by one. So you can change that and do by two in case you want or, or whatever. Also, if you choose this choice, you're going to uh, get uh, an interval by pi, which is also very useful. Now, you're going to click on this grid, and you get the quadrants you want the rectangular grid to be on. I choose all four, but of course, if you need just some quadrants, you choose the quadrants you need. Click Apply, which is down here, and you get the grid. My next thing will be to show you how to type in equation. So I choose on the equation and I'm going to go with explicit. You click on it. Winplot will give you an equation like this one, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to use this equation. I'm going to use a linear equation. I'll delete this equation and I'll type in 2x plus 3, which is a line. You notice and you can add it, by the way. You can change the color if you don't like this red, if you want a, a, dif a different color. But the, thi the thing I really choose is the pen width. I like to be a little bit better like a three pen width. Uh, you can type a second equation the same way, which I will do it. This is a second equation, 2x minus 2. And this is the thing I, I said. You can change the pen, pen width and the color. Uh, win. Plot will give you a color if you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, change it. I mine is blue. And that is a very cool thing about Winplot. You know, you can see different equation of different colors, which I think helps in a math class. And again, don't forget, always, if you don't like what you see, you click the edit button. And if you click the delete button and you have something selected, you can delete that equation. I did that, I delete both equations. And now I'm going to go back on equation right here. And I choose implicit curve. I think that is the second choice, if I remember well. <coughs> and you notice I have an equation here given by Winplot. I'm going to clear that one. And I'm going to put something like this. That is x squared plus y squared equals 16. I expect to get a circle of radius of Four. Again, I change the pen width to be three, and this is uh, what I have a circle of radius of four, like I said. I delete it, and now I want to show you how to put a parametric equation. So it's choice number two, and so I was wrong when I said implicit is choice number three. <coughs> and polar, I will show you in a separate video clip. So Parametric, you click on it, you get um, something like this, a menu, 
you notice you have f of t which goes of x and g of t which goes of y we implant k move these two equations i will change them i'm going to put here i'm going to clear this and i'm going to put here t and here i think i put t squared plus one we'll see it in a moment again you can choose low t high t uh, i will keep it like this but if you want more you can adjust this i will change this pen width in three and i'm going to click ok and i get this one yeah so that's the equation when x is t y is t squared plus one and it goes from zero to uh, one that t so that is the graph of the parametric function i cleared it and now i'm going to show you how to plot points and you notice the next choice on this equation menu is point you have two choices i'm going to use this x y the rectangular grid uh, form to plot a point if you click on it uh, win plot will come with this um, point but you can clear it and put whatever you want i put three and two and you see i have a point there if you do not like how the point looks like edit and adjust it i think at this one i use a a pen width of five and I change the color in black you can change in any color you want segments you can draw segments on Winplot again the next choice on the equation is segment XY I choose again when you click on it you get two points because you need two points to draw a segment and I did that again don't forget you can change the pen width also you can change the color uh, you can put the points uh, you can put arrows if you want and so on so you see the segments and then i add two points two endpoints on this line segment and the next thing i want you guys to see is that you can find a lot of function that you need in your math classes if you notice here down on the bottom of the equation you have something that we call live they call library and you, if you click on it you have a lot of function natural log exponential you see that on the first row and so on trigonometric function here also what i will show you is this guy which is root and x and i'm going to tell you what that means so if for example this one means cubic root of x so in my example here i type this function which means nothing else than f of x equals cubic root of x squared plus one okay and i'm gonna click uh, okay uh, by the way pen width i can change it and i get this uh, graph my next thing will show you how to lock an interval you see i click on um, the function itself on edit and then i choose lock interval and i said i want the function to be just on this interval zero two one again you see pen width here and now we're going to see just a piece of that function between zero and one and that's it for uh, this uh, introduction to Winplot. I hope you enjoyed the video clip. I'm going to try to put more about Winplot. And if you like it, click the like button and come back on C-Square. Thank you.